And color, you better be studying your little butt off, because you got your finals to worry about, dude. Okay. Holy shit! What are you doing? Plus, well... Okay. Chat, I'm not gonna pretend I'm so surprised he has a plus 10 5-star hero. Every single hero he's ever shown me was 5-star plus 10. I've never seen anything less. But 5 flowers? 5 flowers. That's different. That's different. That means he's actually going to use this fjorm a lot. Now, my question is... No plus HP? Ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting decision. Because I do think plus speed has its merits. It definitely does, but wow, this is an interesting choice. Alright. 55 HP, 55 attack, 44 speed, 22 defense, 28 res. Very, very solid. Fjorm is basically... Basically, um, Bridal Cordelia, because Bridal Cordelia is a colorless hero with 35 attack, 35, 35 speed. Fjorm is a um, colorless uh, staff healer hero with 34 attack, 34 speed. In terms of stats, they're very similar, but of course, one's physical, one's magic. But Fjorm has such a better time in, in terms of usage. Gyalburu, or however the hell you say this thing, gives isolation as long as you have more HP by three and it's in carnal direction. It's actually such a great skill. Um, I actually like, I actually think this is immense. Um, restore plus, wind fire bomb, HP attack two, sudden panic, ground orders three and HP speed two. Okay, oh uh, boy. Um, this is really good. So 55 HP, um, you're gonna use her during Astra seasons. In other words, with your Naga, Okay, Naga adds 5, five um, HP, 5 defense. So at 60 HP, that's definitely pulls it off, Galbrou off really easily. Uh, in my opinion, you might actually just want to go all in for, for HP, but if you're looking for to use her offensively, speed makes more sense. 44 speed is some guarantee to double in most scenarios anyways. Um, Windfire Bomb, I wouldn't change it to HP at this point, by the way. Speed is perfect. Um, HP Attack 2 and HP Speed 2. I actually like this idea because I think it's a waste... If Fjorm just double use use HP plus five and HP plus five, yes, you get two additional two additional HP, and yes, this catches slightly more matchups. But what separates Fjorm from other support heroes is the fact that she can hit hard and she can hit often. Very few very few colors heroes do that really well, especially in healers healers category. Now, why is the HP so important though? Sudden Panic three at start of turn if foes HPs. Um, foe's HP is less than unit's HP minus one, and that foe is just another foe, and flick a panic on that foe. In other words, this is basically the same as a Versa and Versus Tome, except with the except it doesn't have the minus three to all stats part. And it, they, they just have to be next to each other for sudden panic to trigger. So to have Fjorm basically double as your Versa and and with her own special ability to use Galbaru to take away the ability to use assist skills on heroes, that's insane. It is like the perfect support hero because you got your healing and this healing also gets rid of, rid of negative status effects. So imagine you got panic, imagine you got tactic roomed or whatever the heck. Restore plus what got you, got you covered. And of course, because she has so much attack, she heals you a ton. And there's Windfire Bomb and I'm getting tired of talking. God damn, so much stuff here. <laughs> just, okay, sure. I would have, I might have ran Miracle instead just because she has a lot of HP. And if you find yourself in that situation, just miracle through and she can attack that many times. But of course, you want to use Wind Fire Bomb too for the attack speed plus six. That also makes a lot of sense. Okay, am I missing anything? Who's supposed to go? Oh, yeah, there's ground order, so you move around really easily. Okay, who's supposed to answer this? Yeah, uh, I really like this view arm a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, you basically said everything there is to say. Um, the only thing, and I do know that uh, she gets plus five defense and HP. For good being with Naga, right? Correct. Mhm. Mm so the only, even with that, I do feel like uh, though Sun Panic is really good. Uh, if you're using her for just support, this is perfect. If you're expecting her to attack too, anytime more than once, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, Dazzling Staff might be considered. Mhm. Mm but if you only need to attack once or just be support. To heal and to debuff slash stop the enemy from using the assist skills. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, that was actually on my mind because I was thinking, wait a second, this is just effective against, uh, sorry, you just, this is just full damage within the staff. It's not actually dazzling. And because she's kind of frail in a way, um, it, it might not be a great idea to keep attacking. So that's why I kind of suggested Miracle, but I was like, wait a second, you might not even get into Miracle in the first place. But no, she does have a lot of usage. If they don't have DC, um, she's going to go on, go to town on them. So as a support hero, I think she's 10 out of 10. Because the prospect of you running this, the double debuffs, right? The ability to take away their ability to get assist skills, such as dance and rallies, huge. The ability to um, to inflict panic on them, huge. Like that combination is just so good. So you want to explain to me why you have raffle staff on here? Do you want to explain this to me? <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Um, it's like somewhere along the lines, you were like, I might switch off of this really amazing staff of hers. So I'll put Rayful staff on her first. Alright, sure. Alright, well, this is a great, great hero. You love her. Okay. Um, to be fair, I think she's one of the best looking heroes in the game. And despite the fact that she has small boobs, when, when she looks so good in her, her dress. Also, 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 you guys might not be at that level yet of degeneracy. You might look at the pretty face and like, wow, she's pretty. You might look at that, those earrings and you might be like, wow, that's pretty. You might look at her, your great smile and you're like, wow, that's pretty. You might look at her great eyes and you're like, wow, that's pretty. And you look at this cute dress and you're like, wow, that's pretty. But no, the best thing about her are her collarbones. Look at that, so hot. There's something about collarbones, really de well defined, especially with the series of heroes. They've been working on the collarbones really, really well. Oh, she has also really nice hands. Pinky up, pinky wow, up. That's pretty. That's pretty. But yeah, it's the collarbones. That's the that's the hottest thing about her. Wow, you guys are face me. You guys just don't understand. You don't appreciate women the same way I do. Wow, my god, what the heck? Are, what is with all these waves? <laughs> what the fuck? Whales these days. Whales these days. Men have collarbones. Yeah. I've been told by my ex I have a really nice looking collarbone. I also have a one of those beauty martinis oh. on my collarbone. Oh. What? No, what what? What did you think I was gonna say? I thought you were gonna say something dirty. <laughs> nerve of you. Well, it's really the nerve of me. My last heart of Versa died. You killed your last heart of Versa? Oh my god. Killing a Versal for a Fjorm just for the odd res wave is like the most insulting thing I've heard. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I really like your Fjorm. Um, great support hero in terms of movement of your heroes. Great support hero in terms of um, dropping panic on the enemy heroes. Great support hero in terms of buffing them with attack speed plus 6. Great support hero in terms of debuffing, uh, t getting rid of your debuffs and healing. Great support hero in terms of your assist skills. And a great support hero in terms of, uh, well, not really, but great attacker because 55 attack, 44 speed. Oh god, this is one of the most, like, packed heroes in the entire game in such a small form. She does so, so much. And her pinky's up. Alright, cool. Good job, color. Um, not much to say. Um, this is actually perfect the way it is. I said might maybe consider Miracle, but you, you're not going to get it. And maybe consider Dazzling Staff, because if you want her to fight a lot, this might be problematic. But of course, not everyone's, not everything runs DC, so. Good job. I should mention she's summoner supported. You summoner supported her? Okay. You should have mentioned that earlier, because we were like, okay, not going for plus HP is kind of weird, but... If you summon supported her, you got that plus 5 HP. And if you're running double Naga, that's another 10. So she's 70 HP? That catches everything then. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh, he did. Okay, color. Look, there's so much stuff to explain about Fjorm. Do you honestly expect me to read stuff? Like, I already have trouble reading when there's nothing distracting me. You, you just have see. trouble reading in general. He's just like...